sure. It's like the end of days. Maybe the freight car's not so bad. Serves these assholes right for shitting on the slum. I just want to get home. Wow, you get some of these people riding in the freight car. I guess they don't have much choice, but rather them than me, I just wanted to be alone. Man, everyone's on edge. They even have of course they down are. There. Hey, Cloud. The flames were I um, the can't believe if I'm you're about to unburden to yourself, storms. don't. Jeez. Should have gone. You don't make it easy. Instead. Could Avalanche really be behind all this? Sorry to disturb you. Hey, got a sec? You're uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. You wow. see my daughter now. My hands are still eight, shaking. So you get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. Should have never gotten out of bed this morning. Just called in sick. Little help, Cloud? I'm sure Sector 7 is affected too. No, Shinra I can't stop thinking happen. about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. I doubt this will be the last attack on a reactor. Don't be stupid. Yeah, the slump of power too. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Mm. Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just, just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. Uh, uh, shh. How do you antagonize you? In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> Those fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Slower than molasses, am I right? You hear? 
hear that suit, Shinra creed my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <sighs> Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell ya? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there got to struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> ah. hm. Now get some r, r You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Not Office still I'm there? Sure How are people here taking the news? I don't remember. Not enough to stop him from He's breathing, really I guess. Old. Don't they realize what's happened? Unbelievable. You see that huge explosion? <sighs> Wow. I guess I'll stop by one of the food stalls. So, you hear that burger joint staying open tonight? No way! I killed for one right now. What are we even doing here? Talk about mm -hmm. weird stuff going on. Of course not. What's up, Al? As long as the train is here. How about what? Uh, train services have concluded for the day! So the Mako reactor's with extra black uh, I was pulling some OT when it happened. Wanna know what I was thinking the whole time I was evacuating? You got me. I need something so stiff it knocks me out. 
I wish I could tell you, but sadly, I don't share your passion for No words can describe how bright the flames were. Some played he's only had it so good because uh -huh. I'd never seen anything like it before. It was completely insane. Huh. It was like a giant candle oh, the, the lighting up the You couldn't go nowhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> what the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the action. When I get back, it's refueling time. Are you busy? I don't know. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. Um, excuse me? Due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? No, sir! Freaking way! Put that fire out, idiots! I was there yesterday. That they are doing everything in their power to provide aid to those most in need. As yet, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack, but security services are working tirelessly to identify those involved. Wait, this is real? It's not a movie? How long is it gonna keep burning? Please contact your nearest public security officer or security headquarters. Glad I got today off. Uh, am I still gonna have a job? Guess I'll find out. Did everyone get out in time? Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I've been helping Tifa. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? <laughs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. It has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Off. 
Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Policy to identify those involved. If you have any information pertaining to the identity of the perpetrators, please contact your nearest public security office uh. or security headquarters. <laughs> you're doing scaring my daughter like that daddy says never talk to strangers <laughs> that's right honey i do say that what a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons <laughs> you know what else good girls do they go to bed on time come on but i'm not tired i want to talk some more daddy mm, all right but just this once <sighs> Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was... Chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shimmer. Not good at all. What? So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. So, it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry. I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. 
And you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> It's time for introductions. You okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Well, now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. The 
watch is saying they're gonna step up their game. Searching for candidates. Wait, the guy who Wedge mentioned? The merchant? Looking for a new one. Back Searching for candidates. Yeah, that sword's massive. What does he sell again? If you don't want to get hurt, keep your distance. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. Sword's massive. What does he sell again? The merchant? Searching for candidates. The trains don't start moving again. Gotta stay focused. Even on places are starting to look a little run down. Don't you think? Everybody does. We keep putting off maintenance. We gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. Oh, looks like they're having a bad day. Hold on. Don't tell me you're making that face because you think it looks cool, are you? We gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head on down there first thing tomorrow. Facilities are starting to look a little run down, don't you think? Everybody does. We keep putting off maintenance. <clears throat> Call us if you see trouble. The guy who lives over there's got a real hard on. Next item on the friend. Lots of girls who live here. The life stream, right? What's a life stream? Be a good idea to stock up on food before it's all gone. I'm not gonna let you sleep over. Huh? Think well, we could get sleep. some money if we strip this a lot more people than you? Our daughter deserves to go to a well, good school. school. Time. Well, who's gonna run? It's times like this that we might. Tifa's got a knack for serving the perfect drink. Something hard, but clean and crisp. The no, best I have dinner at 7th Heaven tonight. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <sighs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. <sighs> Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them, because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Thanks. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. There's so many people who Barrett's out making his rounds too. Oh, as long off. as I get it all today. Take your time now. All the items you could want are straight from the plate. No matter your needs or your budget. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who's it? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh... Since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. 
Suppose I could take a look. Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teep is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. All the items you could want were straight He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well... You could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Just imagine if rich people start the... My husband decided to go to the station and see if it had gotten... Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa! My dear, dear girl! Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest will cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while now? Five years, give or take. Of those vets who joined uh, but never mind that. Smile. We've got to get you your money. Maybe, Last stop is the weapons store. Thank you. 